we will start the record and everything that we will do will be recorded okay let's see uh Signon, uh I, is it correct uh, i correctly call in your name i'm sorry yes it's correct Signon, yes uh okay you asking me about the splitting the um, tail beam that uh, in your case uh, the uh, the splitting doesn't work yes i understand you correctly understood yes. your, your question okay uh, let's try uh, i will show you um, one thing uh, oh okay let's uh, start from the beginning uh, the uh, order of the com of the command uh, did you uh, doing uh, correctly or not let's uh, let's check uh, when you selecting uh, okay i will i will hide my wing and i will uh, use the tool on trim okay now i got uh, the uh, the whole tail beam as it was at the start and uh, okay let's see uh, when we splitting something we choose the command split selecting uh, the object to split at first then pressing enter then selecting the cutting object and pressing enter again and in my case it works okay uh, did you do the uh, do you uh, ma made the same steps and it doesn't work? Yes, and it says split field object may not intercept or intersection. Ah, okay, so I understood. I, am, I understood. Uh, so let's uh, check. Let's check the intersection of these two objects. Uh, as I told you, I think I told you in previous lessons, there is a command that calls intersect. Intersect. Uh, type it in the command line. Did you find? Yes. Okay. And then select uh, the beam and the wing and press enter. And you will see the line of the intersection. Intersection of these two objects. And for splitting, uh, this line must be uh, continuous without any breaking uh, zones or breaking points. And what in your case, what you get, what you get after intersection? Okay, let's see. Aha, uh -huh. your beam is uh, larger than the wing air uh, than the wing section, and beam uh, is uh, uh, is thicker than the section of the wing in this uh, in this place. So maybe your or maybe it is. Uh, Maybe it's uh, turned down a little bit. Try to look at this, uh, at your uh, model from the right view. From the right view. And the uh, beam must be horizontal. And then as, as you can see in my, uh, on my screen, uh, my beam is horizontal and my uh, and my wing uh, my wing is turned or not I don't remember the, from the first lessons how I uh, draw the wing is it uh, I don't remember is it uh, if I leave it as it is from the uh, from the airfoil from the source airfoil or i turned up it a little bit 
I don't remember because as I can as you can see on my screen it looks like it turned up a little bit but I don't have a time right now to watch to rewatch again the first lessons uh, no pre previous lessons but uh, as I as as I remember I turned the wing up a little bit uh, approximately for a three degrees for a three degrees I turned the wing up from the right side view and maybe you not followed my uh, my steps from the previous lessons okay so the solution for this problem uh, oh show me show me please the screen uh, view, uh, view from your screen uh, in right uh, right view uh, uh, viewport sorry <laughs> from the right viewport uh, show me the, the same picture uh, to your wing and to your uh, tail beam show me please <clears throat> Okay. Yes, uh, you don't, uh, you didn't uh, turn the wing at the setting angle of three degrees. Uh, maybe uh, I, I will rewatch the videos from the previous lessons, but I think that I told that I uh, did it and told you to do the same. So uh, just uh, uh, follow me. Follow me. Uh, just make these steps. Uh, so select the wing. Select the uh, rotate tool from the right uh, right viewport. Right viewport. Select the wing. Select the rotate tool. Rotating tool. Then uh, select the uh, end and the uh, point of your uh, wing then holding the shift and uh, making the line horizontal line so holding the shift and uh, move the mouse uh, to the left and then uh, select the first reference point and then uh, ah uh, no, 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 sorry, sorry. Escape, press escape. Uh, select rotate, select the wing, select the end point. And now uh, typing in command line, in command line angle, uh, angle for uh, rotation, three degrees. Enter. Oh, no, three. It looks like not three degrees. Sorry again. Enter. Mm. Select, select. So hold the shift, select uh, the first reference point, then typing uh, in command line this sign. Can you see this sign? Uh, the uh, bracket. A little bracket, like a little uh, arrow, and uh, three degrees, and enter. And now uh, choose the direction, upward or downward. You must select upward. And pressing uh, enter or right button, uh, no, left button of the mouse. Press and left button of the mouse. And your uh, airfoil will be turned up as in my case. It was. Uh, I want to check. Is it works correctly or not? Let's try again. 
return uh, rotate enter this one point angle of three degrees this one point and now I will check the angle with this tool for example this and this yes it is three degrees it works correctly so did you get the result do, uh, do you turn uh, rotate your wing yes yes okay and then uh, then uh, what we will do I will I will back my wing to the source position uh, now uh, now turn on the side view and position the wind you, you should delete uh, you should delete the uh, tail beam you should delete let's uh, build uh, let's build our tail beam from the very beginning so i will also delete the tail beam uh, and and you must position select all your wing and position it uh, base uh, basing uh, uh, aligning with the side view of the uh, aligning to the drawing to the draw, side view drawing so uh, somewhere approximately close to the picture to the side view uh, maybe if your uh, if your uh, wing was uh, turn it up or turn it down so uh, move it to the correct position to looks like on the side view and now uh, we will align we will align i will delete this line because it is not necessary now uh, we will align no we will align our stabilizer after we, be, we we build the tail beam so let's hide let's hide stabilizer and fin and also uh, and also let's hide all peaks we don't need them right now uh, so did you have uh, this uh, this section and this uh, spare uh, lines on your wing right now yes yes okay so uh, you uh, connect the intersection lines uh, intersection points by the line did you have this line do you have this line yes okay so let's let's uh, select polyline tool uh, let's select midpoint ah sorry uh, let's uh, let's 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 uh, measure let's measure uh, the height of this uh, of this line use the measure tool and tell me please uh, what the length of, of your line 90 90 precisely 90 yes yes okay it's very good it is very good uh, ah but you turned you turned your wing so let's delete it all <laughs> you turned you rotate your wing so now your spare uh, is not vertical uh, so let's 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 did it all be, from the very beginning so delete delete all you got uh, delete and uh, switch to the top view turn on the peaks turn on the pictures and uh, you must have uh, the top view and we will select uh, select the polyline tool from the uh, again select the polyline tool again and let's draw the polyline uh, somewhere close 
close to the center of this uh, top view at, at our tail beam so maybe we will uh, we will make we will make it like this we will uh, draw the uh, draw the sur service polyline at first so from here to here for example and now we will se select again polyline and at the middle, at the middle of this polyline, we will start holding the shift and uh, make and make it somewhere here and pressing enter. Now returning here, delete this service line, deleting. Now uh, select, uh, select, select curve tools and select uh, extend curve extend now select the end of this curve and move it move it uh, move it, it forward move it, it down to your screen uh, forward to the nose of the aircraft somewhere uh, that it should be uh, should be ahead of the wind so it must be uh, it must cross all the wing so uh, somewhere here for example okay and now uh, select projecting projecting tool project curves or control points so here here it is or here on the curve tools select select this curve Pressing uh, enter, select the wing. When we can highlight the wing to see it clearly. clearly. Uh, pressing enter, and now we got the new section. The new section. Now go into perspective view port. And now uh, selecting another one time, uh, selecting polyline. Uh, turn on quadrant uh, object snap quadrant object snap and selecting uh, the quadrant point at the top of this uh, of this wing surface or on this section it doesn't uh, matter i think it will be the same but then we need uh, okay let's ch let's select it on the on this uh, cross section on this curve uh, select quadrant uh, holding the shift on the keyboard and moving somewhere far here pressing enter now selecting again this uh, line selecting move tool selecting the end point and moving uh, moving backward this line uh, to be to be sure that from the top view this line will cross uh, all the wing. And now we will project in uh, this line, selecting project tool, selecting the line, uh, enter, uh, selecting the surface of the wings, pressing enter. Now uh, returning to uh, perspective view mode, we can delete this, this uh, line service line as i call it and now we must join selecting again a polyline and join intersection points of these two curves but uh, uh, be sure that you select an intersection but not perpendicular so uh, you can switch off perpendicular object snap and then it will be surely intersection and now uh, measure this line and tell me the length of this line i think it will be a bit a bit uh, more than 90 millimeters but it's not problem if it's more than 90 it, it's good if it le if it's less than 90 it's bad we must uh, 
modify the wings then or you will select uh, no we, we you will choose for your beam uh, a little bit uh, smaller radius i think if i have 89 89 so it's less than 90 okay uh, you will uh, so, uh, follow my steps <laughs> follow my steps and we will select for you and maybe for all of us we will select a little bit uh, smaller radius to be sure that our uh, tail beam will intersect the wing surely so select again polyline polyline select the middle of this uh, line that connects the top and the bottom of the wing surfaces so selecting the middle uh, switch on the middle object snap and selecting the middle then uh, turn to the top view to the top view and uh, ah okay uh, turn to the top view and uh, holding the shift holding the shift and draw the line somewhere uh, somewhere here after the stabilizer press and enter now then uh, return to top view uh, to perspective view and uh, delete this service line that we, we we draw it before so now we don't need it we can delete it and leave only this line that starts from the middle of this uh, of this uh, connecting line uh, okay we can switch to the switch to the top view again select this line and uh, select show object control points select this end control point and move it uh, holding the shift or using near uh, near object snap as you can see uh, if you if you see my hint uh, before this uh, hint uh, before uh, hint near this point you can see it's near near on the line so uh, in this case we don't need to hold the shift we will uh, select this point somewhere on on this line on the preview on the basic line so uh, let's let's move it somewhere here close to the elevator line uh, as you can see from the top view it's uh, the tail part of the stabilizer it is elevator it will be elevator so we will end our line somewhere close to the elevator but not on this line but but very close to it somewhere okay and now uh, now return to perspective view and uh, let's draw let's build our uh, tail beam let's switch to the uh, to the tail beam lawyer here on the lawyer list uh, and we will select and we will uh, type in command line pipe pipe command okay it uh, it asking us uh, select rail so we will select this uh, uh, this line that we built before and uh, input in command line and uh, diameter uh, ah okay you can see here in your uh, when you start the pipe command it calls uh, the sel to sell it uh, asking you to select the rail and if you selecting the rail and pressing enter the next step is uh, start in my case it's radius in your case it it can be the diameter if if there uh, if there are you can read start diameter and uh, then you can uh, press with the mouse on this first uh, option and as you can see when i'm clicking on this option i will uh, switch uh, here radius diameter radius diameter so you need uh, radius start radius ah no 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 we need diameter we got the diameter we got the height of the wing so let's switch to diameter 
start diameter and now uh, let's input for example 88 88 millimeters pressing enter and uh, end diameter also will be 88 millimeters you can see that uh, it is already inputted here if you want to change the um, uh, if you want to change this diameter so you can type some uh, some value here but we don't need to change so we just uh, pressing enter and uh, and press and enter again once more and uh, if we will switch to shade mode we can see our uh, tail beam again the pipe for our tail beam it is it's not a tail beam but it's uh, the pipe that we will use to build our tail beam as before i recommend you to turn down this uh, to rotate this beam to turn down this uh, black line to the bottom it will uh, it will just it, it will just looks better so it it not necessary but i think it will looks better on final model so let's do, let's do it let's switch to front view mode let's hide our hide uh, hide all pictures on lawyers and now uh, if you see only one circle uh, only one circle then uh, then you uh, made everything very well very good and uh, very well and if you can see two circles then your tail beam is not horizontal and you need uh, to repeat all previous steps to achieve the horizontal beam and uh, from the front view you must see only one radio uh, only one circle for example what i mean if i will uh, if i will rotate a little bit my tail beam a little little bit and now if i will uh, look from the front in wireframe in wireframe mode so i can see two circles now so my beam is not horizontal uh, in our case now it's not good it's not uh, it's not good so we you you must you must build the tail beam pipe that it should be it looks it must look like this okay so uh, let's rotate if 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 everything okay let's rotate the tail beam pipe to move the to move this basic line to to the bottom of this beam okay uh, select rotating tool here or 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 in transform here at the top of the screen in transform you can select rotate then uh, switch on centering uh, object snap move move the mouse close to the to the to the outline of this circle and when you will see a uh, hint with center object snapping then press uh, left button of your mouse now holding the shift holding the shift uh, move the mouse upward press enter press enter or left left but button of your mouse now rotate uh, the mouse downward and uh, hold the shift again so to 180 degrees and press the enter again or button of the mouse and as you can see the line is at the bottom of the pipe now so now uh, let's try again to split this uh, let's try again to split this uh, tail beam this pipe so selecting split select uh, pipe for tail beam uh, pressing enter 
select the ring and press an enter. And now everything must work proper, uh, correctly. Tell me, please, is it works? Yes. Okay. Now switch to wireframe mode. Select this uh, uh, this end of this pipe and delete it. We don't need it anymore. Okay, so now let's uh, now uh, if you already have stabilizer, if you already have stabilizer, uh, I will move it somewhere. I will move it somewhere to show you how to center it, to how to align it with with the pipe. So I will move it here, for example. So uh, now uh, we we must align our stabilizer with the center, uh, the end, uh, the trailing edge of our stabilizer with the center of this uh, tailpipe. So let's do it. Uh, switch to X1 uh, lawyer, select uh, polyline and uh, snap to the center of the of the pipe. So if, if it was if it wasn't switched on, then switch switch on the center uh, object snap. Now select in the center of the pipe. And now uh, or or the other way, so now you can hold hold the shift and move the line somewhere here. Or the other way, we already have the center line of this pipe, so we can switch to the wireframe view. And now we can see this line. Uh, turn on, uh, so uh, select this line, select the show object control points tool, Select this endpoint, uh, select it and hold it with your mouse and try to uh, try to move it with the mouse. You, as you can see, it moves on your screen. And now hold the shift, hold the shift, and move it backward. Move it backward uh, according to the airplane. So somewhere here, and then. Uh, uh, Free, free your mouse button, and it will uh, it will appears here. Now press an escape, 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 and you and now you got uh, your center line extended. It's uh, one of the ways how to extend the the lines if you need to extend it uh, in uh, ortho, or, orthogon uh, in ortho uh, directions parallel to the main axis of the of our viewport or uh, you can make it uh, you can make the same using uh, using using curve curve tools uh, curve tools extend again extend curve Select this curve and extend it where you need it. So now, uh, now uh, let's select uh, again curve tools. Select project curves on uh, pro pro projecting tool. I will call it projecting tool. Uh, select this curve again after you after you select in project. Then select uh, this curve. Press and enter. And select stabilizer, and you have the project. Now you got the projection uh, of this line. You got uh, the section on stabilizer that is uh, aligned with this center line of the um, tail beam. So now we must select. We must select this uh, the stabilizer. Stabilizer with or without this curve. It doesn't really matter. And also select here at the center of stabilizer. There are, uh, I got 
uh, the curve so all curves must be selected uh, select move tool move select the end of this curve of this section that you got it from uh, you got from the last uh, command select the end point of this curve and now uh, switch on perpendicular object snap and move it upward and uh, find the perpendicular snapping and press enter or uh, not enter but uh, uh, left button of the mouse it will be uh, more actual actual okay so now uh, so now if you will look if you will look uh, at your uh, model from the right viewport you can see that stabilizer is aligned with the center of the tail beam tail beam yes okay now we can delete this uh, section we don't need it anymore but not the center line center line is will be useful for us uh, but uh, if we extend it so now we need uh, to cut it little bit we will look at this uh, at our model from the top view uh, we will switch off the shading mode we will turn to the wireframe we will uh, on show on our uh, top view drawing and now we will uh, we will select this center center line select uh, show control points select this control point and move it as it was before uh, somewhere close to the stabilizer to the um, elevator ah no we can move it uh, we can move it uh, right to the center of the uh, but now but we first we need to turn off perpendicular snap and turn on centering snap and move this uh, line again to the center of the pipe okay or the other way simply uh, more simply way i will undo the last tool the last command uh, i will select trim trim here or uh, or on in uh, in transform yes no where it is uh, on the in this tools no it's not in transform but where solid no No, I, I I don't know where where on this um, on these pages at the top of the screen, but here I think you got on your screen this main main toolbar. So select the trim trim tool trim command. Uh, now uh, select cutting objects. Select the beam tail beam, pressing enter and select this end of the line and pressing enter uh, it was cutted by the view i don't know why why it works on this way okay let's select again select again trim select again pipe enter and now okay now it works correctly so you can see your center line and at the center of your mm, tail beam uh, of, at the end of this uh, tail beam uh, right at the center so okay uh, now uh, now what we must do now we must uh, we must do uh, the end part of the beam as it was on previous lesson so select again top view and uh, select uh, select the x1 lawyer 
and select polyline polyline and let's draw the polyline somewhere close somewhere close to the uh, front uh, to the leading edge of the stabilizer maybe somewhere here okay and projecting this line select projecting select line enter and select the beam and now delete this line and we got now uh, the section additional section uh, hide the peaks hide pictures because we don't need them uh, hide stabilizer i think i think stabilizer also uh, will be not useful at this moment uh, okay uh, select again trim select this new uh, section line this cutting line uh, pressing enter and uh, select the, this uh, end of this tail beam and cut it so okay it was cut it out and now uh, select arc arc uh, start end and direction at the start this mod one two three this one select the first point here at the, at the end of this uh, thick black line of the pi uh, of the uh, tail beam or it is also the must be quadrant quadrant of the of this circle <clears throat> quadrant of this circle okay selected uh, select the end point of this line center line and now uh, move the mouse a little bit down and hold the shift hold the shift to get uh, this to get this uh, configuration as it is on my screen and select uh, any point you wish somewhere here for example okay you got uh, we got the um, the curve that we will use for to create uh, the surface on the next step but let's make this curve a bit uh, uh, more rounded at the end not so sharp not so sharp so let's uh, select this curve this arc select uh, show object control points and now uh, select this control point and move it little bit uh, backward somewhere here for example you can also watch from uh, watch from the right viewport and uh, be sure that you don't uh, don't move it uh, far than the end of this uh, far uh, be beyond to the end point we don't need this configuration but we need something like this okay uh, now uh, we will build the rotation surface so switch to the tail beam lawyer uh, select uh, select here revolve revolving uh, or uh, here in curve tools no curve service tool uh, surface tools on surface tools page ah no 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 sorry i forgot again again i forget it again it is uh, here on create surface panel you must call this panel from the tools and the uh, toolbar layout so here select the revolve revolve tool select the curve enter and uh, two points on this center line and now uh, start an angle pressing just pressing enter and the uh, revolution angles also we press in this case we press only enter we don't need uh, to change it from 360 degrees so just pressing enter and uh, as you can see it was uh, there was built another one surface as the rotation uh, as the revolved surface from this curve from the basic curves from the arc 
let's check are this surfaces connecting correctly or not. Uh, let's use join tool, selecting this uh, tail beam and selecting this end of the tail beam and pressing enter. And now selecting this tail beam, if it selects all, not separately one part and the other, but all, all the beam uh, you can select with one click, then uh, everything okay. Everything is good, as in my case. Uh, okay, now switch on stabilizer. And as you remember, uh, it is aligned aligned with uh, the center line of the tail beam so now we can we must uh, only uh, select the split select the tail beam uh, pressing enter and select the stabilizer surface and press and enter then hide stabilizer again and select this part and delete it so now we got now we got stabilizer connected to the, to the uh, we got the tail beam connected to our stabilizer and it looks like it uh, like it is on photographs of this aircraft where are my photographs my photos ah uh, as you can see it is very different in this photo. It is very different aircraft because uh, the tail beams here connected to the fins, not to the stabilizer. So it's not very, it's not uh, very usable photo because it's very different modification of this aircraft. And here on this photograph, we can see this. And it looks close to our result, I think. Maybe not very precise, but looks similar, very close to the to wishing result. Okay, mm, and uh, at the end of the last lesson, there was problems with electricity. And uh, I don't know, uh, as you see or not, when I worked with my uh, fin, so I will repeat all the same that I was to uh, show you at the end of the last lesson. So I will uh, unmodificate my stabilizer. As you can see, it is it is cutted by the fin, but I will use again untrim untrim tool here uh, where it is on. Uh, maybe maybe on, on surface yes surface tools surface tools page uh, uh, at the top of your screens surface tools and here on trim tool and uh, use it to the edge of this surface and now I got the stabilizer the whole stabilizer that it was uh, builded uh, by extruding this uh, curve, this section curve. And also I got, uh, there was, there was uh, the fin. I will back it to the uh, previous position as it was. Don't repeat me now because I'm only uh, back, uh, undoing the things that I was done on the previous lesson. And I don't remember uh, was it on the video or not. So now I will show you it from very beginning. So we got we got stabilizer and we got fin fin uh, surface fin poly surface because it's closed from both uh, from both uh, ends of the surfaces from both tips <clears throat> so let's check from the let's check <clears throat> from the side view drawing 
is it a ah, my fin my fin is not at the top okay i will not uh, i will uh, leave it as it is i will not return my fin to the top of this con of this dimension uh, box so leave leave i will leave it as it is because we we don't build the precise model in our case now because uh, the source information is very bad so uh, let's close our eyes on this little mistake but uh, generally generally it is placed uh, as uh, uh, it is placed uh, there uh, where it must be placed so uh, and from the front view from the front view uh, my fin surface oh sorry front view front view uh, shaded from the front view my fin is vertical but as you can see on the picture on the photographs of this aircraft you can see that fins are not vertical they have some angle they got some angle uh, i don't know uh, i don't know uh, the precise value of this angle there are no information and there are no good uh, blueprints so we will uh, we will select this angle just by our eyes so not uh, not with uh, actual value but something that will looks like close to the close to the photographs it will be good to find uh, the photograph with the front view but i think it's not easy also maybe air Q2 front view. No. No good results. It's not a photograph, it's someone's 3D model. But I think uh, as a result, uh, at the end of our work, we will achieve a better much better model that will look uh, much better and it will look more realistic closer to this view because i think this 3d model is not very good for my opinion okay uh front view of this aircraft it's problem now <laughs> for us so we will use we will use the information that we already have uh, so uh, first i i will hide the wing because i uh, don't need the wing from the this for this work for this part of my work uh, i will select stabilizer uh, with its high uh, from with its uh, top tip because at the top tip uh, i have the curve, the basic curve with the airfoil with the section of the stable uh, with the section of this fin. So I must select this one and this one, or this one and this one. So all both of them. Uh, switch to the front view. Uh, select uh, wireframe mode, and now select rotate rotate uh, switch on intersection uh, object snap uh, switch on uh, the plans but uh, from the plan we can see uh, that this plan is very very bad and it, it will not help us so uh, okay but but we can see that the fin is uh, rotated a little bit, so I think it's about about five degrees or something like this. So let's select the intersection 
of the uh, trailing edge of, of fin and trailing edge of stabilizer. If you will uh, upscale your uh, viewport, you will see uh, the thick, the thick uh, black line. It's, it is the trailing edge of stabilizer and the thick yellow line. It is the trailing edge of the fin. Select this intersection point. Now uh, downscale your view with the scrolling. Uh, hold the shift. Hold the shift. Select. Uh, move to the up. Move the, your mouse to the up of the screen. Select the reference point. And now uh, select. Uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I pressed. Not the button that it, it should be pressed. Okay, again, selecting the fin, select rotation, select intersection, hold the shift, move upwards. And now, uh, now uh, input bracket, or how it calls in English, I don't know. I will call it arrow bracket, arrow bracket, and uh, five degrees value. Enter. And now, if you will move your mouse left or right, uh, you can see that uh, you will uh, you will jump from one value to the next value. And this jump angle it is the five degree angle, five degrees. So we we need five degrees inside inside of our uh, aircraft. So somewhere here. And press and not enter. Enter doesn't work. Press uh, left button of your mouse. So I will repeat it again. <laughs> uh, intersection here five degrees and uh, left button of the mouse. Left button of the mouse. As you can see, I got a uh, larger angle, uh, bigger angle than uh, on this front view. But uh, as you, if you will watch, if you will look, if you will look uh, at the photograph, photographs, you can see that there are uh, there are. Comparatively big angle, so uh, this this for this uh, plan is uh, not correct. I think that five degrees will be close closer to the reality. So we will choose, for example, five degrees. Okay, hide hide uh, the pictures. Select uh, X one. Uh, or maybe not. Okay, select X1 lawyer. And now select again split tool. Select object to split stabilizer. Select, uh, press enter. Select cutting object uh, fin. Press enter. Now hide your fin lawyer and delete this, uh, this uh, surfaces that we don't need anymore and uh, unhide the uh, unhide the fin and you must achieve you must get this construction if we unhide the wing also you can see something like this uh, i i must rem I, I must remind you that if you don't need uh, these uh, ISO curves on your surfaces, these construction curves, construction lines, if you don't want to see them, then select all the objects, uh, go to op properties, object properties, and here you can see show surface ISO curve. Uh, unselect this uh, option, unselect this option, 
and you will see only the clear surfaces. But any time you will need, uh, if you will need uh, to see this is a curves, you can select all objects again, uh, select this option show surface is a curve, and uh, more, even more, you can uh, increase the density of this is a curves if you need it. You can uh, use this switcher and uh, clicking on up arrow you can uh, achieve something like this if you just if you need it but i don't think that we need it at the moment so select and and uh, switch off this option okay return to lawyer list so uh, we got all uh, surfaces, all surfaces, uh, aerodynamic surfaces, and the tail beam that connects our empennage and the wing. And now we uh, we don't have the fuselage, so we need to build the fuselage now. Or also we uh, don't have uh, the we don't have the control surfaces, but I think uh, control surfaces, it is uh, the detailization of our model. So uh, first, uh, I think we need to build the fuselage. So let's start to build the fuselage. We got uh, some time to the end of the lesson because I must remind you that at 12 o'clock, my internet will be switched off because it will be no electricity. So we have uh, the half of an hour. Uh, I think it will be enough to start the construction of, of the fuselage. Okay. Uh, first, uh, I want I want to show you one. Uh, one life hack that I'm using in my projects. Uh, if you will switch off, if you will turn off uh, the visibility uh, of your uh, model here, all all the lawyer RQ zero RQ two. If you will turn off it, you can see uh, the construction box with uh, general dimensions. And uh, all this surf service, uh, all this service uh, curves and lines. Uh, I don't recommend you to delete them, but you can create a new lawyer here in the list of the lawyers. Create new lawyer and call it, for example, uh, Z uh, trash. It's something like trash box will be. This lawyer will be some kind of trash box. Uh, that because it will be very comfortable if you will uh, if you will uh, sorting or how it calls in English. If you will sort. If you will sort. If you will sort your lawyers by the name, this lawyer will be always at the bottom of your list. Uh, so now select all this geometry and uh, move it to this Z trash lawyer. Maybe some of this uh, in uh, very complicated projects. It's some from time to time uh, you will need uh, to use again some of these uh, construction construction curves. So never delete it, but use this uh, additional lawyer with the name something like this or any name that will be clear for you. So I am using trash 
uh, as a trash uh, bucket uh, pocket a trash box so now just hide this trash and uh, work with the clear screen uh, clear screen uh, okay so now uh, i don't think we need this geometry uh, we will hide it no we will hide it uh, element by element so the fin stabilizer tail beam and the wing and we will add new sub lawyer new sub layer and we will call it fuselage oh sorry fuselage okay the new lawyer fuselage and we will use this x1 construction lawyer at the moment uh, everything is clear at, at this at this stage do you have some questions tell me please is it clear can you hear me Yes, I don't have a question for now. Okay. okay, it's good. That's good. If you will have any questions, uh, anytime write me to the Telegram or to, or to my uh, electronic mail. Uh, I will help you when I will have free time. I will help you. So uh, feel free to ask me any questions. Uh, okay, let's start to build the fuselage let's unhide pictures as you can see uh, on this uh, front view the fuselage have the sides uh, at some angle that difference from vertical and if we will look at the photographs uh, if i will find the correct photograph so uh, on this photograph it's also visible that these uh, sides th sides of this uh, of the fuselage they are not vertical they are at some angle so let's use this let's use this front view uh, as as a real uh, view of the aircraft so we will try to use uh, first the blueprints and then if we will uh, get the result that looks different from the photographs we will correct our we will try to correcting our uh, 3d model but first at the beginning we will start from the blueprints we will start from the right right uh, side view Okay, let's try to build the contour of the fuselage side view. Uh, we will use it in future. So select polyline tool. Uh, I will recommend you to unswitch uh, the center center um, object snap because uh, from time to time it will uh, <laughs> correct word I must to, to look at the dictionary uh, it will interfere it will interfere from time to time because it will snap to the center of the box and we don't need it uh, so switch on the center uh, uh, I recommend you to use uh, uh, center and perpendicular object snapping only in cases when you need it. And uh, all other time, uh, switch off them. Uh, I recommend you to use switched on, uh, uh, switched on constantly. And object snap, near object snap, middle object snap, intersection object snap and maybe quadrant object snap all other uh, snapping you will turn on only in the cases when you will need them because uh, they will interfere you to 
build correct geometry. Uh, okay, so let's start polyline. Uh, I will uh, draw the horizontal line at the top of the fuselage. At the top of the fuselage, I see uh, some uh, different of the height between the tail part and the front part. But we will build the uh, we will build uh, the straight top of the fuselage because uh, we don't need we don't have the correct information. Uh, ah, okay, it is rounded here. Okay, we will we will use this photo. We will use this photograph and we'll try to make. It as as close as, as it will be possible. So let's start from this point and draw horizontal one horizontal line. Press and enter. Now uh, starting somewhere here and uh, draw another one horizontal. No, I think it will be somewhere higher. So let's build this line. Now select it. Select move. And select this point and move it somewhere here, a little bit higher. And also move this line a little bit to the back of the fuselage. Now uh, we will select arc, arc tool, uh, this one with this at the end of the lesson okay select uh, arc tool this one one two three arc start end and direction at start select uh, selecting point somewhere here uh, selecting end point here and uh, the direction somewhere on this uh, horizontal line Okay, for example, at the end of this line. Now we achieve uh, the arc, but I think it should be it should be also a little bit uh, little bit rounded at this end. So we will select this arc, select uh, show object control points. And uh, also move this control point to the front somewhere here. Escape. Okay, now we can cut. We can cut. We can trim this end of the line. Selecting trim, selecting arc, pressing uh, enter, and selecting this end of the line, and pressing enter. So we have uh, the top contour of our fuselage now. Now uh, select, uh, as you can see, uh, the front part of the fuselage is uh, some kind of the spline. So it is uh, maybe it's uh, two or three arcs connected to each other, but we will use the spline. Ah, but first we will draw the straight line of the bottom of the fuselage contour, select polyline again, select the point, hold the shift and moving somewhere here. Okay, we got the, uh, we got the bottom of fuselage contour. Now select polyline, select, uh, so, sorry, not polyline, select um, spline. Curve interpolate points. It calls curve uh, interpolate with interpolate points mode. Uh, okay, select this curve, or also it is no in tools here. It it, it is not present. I think uh, if you don't have this main uh, toolbar, then call tools toolbar layout. And uh, this curve, curve toolbar, so you will get this uh, tool. But I have it already existent here. 
So selecting the start point of the spline somewhere, somewhere here, somewhere here, and now uh, creating the control, uh, the editing points uh, on the contour of this side view here, here, and uh, I think somewhere here. Okay, let's somewhere somewhere here. Enter. Uh, now you can, if you will select this curve again, this spline, and switch on control point, you can edit this spline and make it uh, looks closer to the side view. So you can edit correcting it and also i think that uh, this uh, spline at this uh, at the starting point should be tangential to the top of the to the top horizontal line so let's select this point and uh, move it uh, to the move it to this horizontal line so the first direction of the spline, as you can see, this dashed line, this yellow dashed line, shows you the first direction of the spline between these control points. So it must be aligned with this horizontal line. In this case, uh, our spline will will uh, connect tangentially uh, by, to this uh, horizontal line. So maybe I will move a little bit this starting point backward to be uh, to be closer to the contour on the view, and this control point also. But both of them must be on the on this horizontal line, and at the to uh, on the top of our fuselage contour line okay and the same thing uh, with the end point i think it should be uh, tangential to this line horizontal line so i will move this end point a little bit backward and this point i will place here and maybe i will select now this point again hold it with my mouse uh, holding the shift shift button and moving it forward a little bit okay okay it's it looks uh, looks i think it looks not bad it looks not bad if we will look at the photograph it's, it's very close okay and now uh, select trim select this polyline or select this spline pressing enter and cut this end of this line and end of this line enter now we got the contour of fuselage the front part and now we must uh, we must to uh, draw the tail part Okay, it is complicated here because uh, the engine parts can be seen in this uh, part. But we will start from the simple things and then we will modify, modify them bit by bit. So I will select polyline. I will draw vertical polyline somewhere here. Now look uh, how we can connect now this horizontal and vertical lines. I will select uh, fillet curves from here or from here, fillet curves from curve tools, fillet curves, and I input radius here zero degrees. It is already zero, but if you, in your case, if the, there are some value, then change it to zero. And now select one line and the other line. And repeat again the same tool. 
uh, be sure that uh, the radius is zero and select one and the other one and now we got the rect uh, so some kind of rectangle here so these lines are connected at these points now i will build uh, the arcs the same arcs that i built before selecting this tool start end and direct direction at the start so the arc i think it will start somewhere here where the end part will begins as you can see by this vertical line i think somewhere here and uh, and somewhere here and the direction i will uh, select somewhere on this horizontal line now i will select uh, the control points to see the control points and move uh, oh sorry control point and move it again forward somewhere here to align my my arc curve with the view on the drawing now i will select polyline select the end point of the arc and uh, i want to build the vertical line uh, to achieve the point where to start from uh, with this uh, another arc so i will switch on perpendicular uh, perpendicular object snap and now perpendicular point select this point enter so again uh, select arc the same arc start from here and here this direction select object uh, control points and now i will move it a little bit backward something like this in the cases when we have uh, more complicated shapes uh, to be closer to drawing you can use uh, not only one control point here but you can rebuild this arc with the tool that calls rebuild select this arc uh, and here on curve tools you can select rebuild curve this tool or input it from command line rebuild oh sorry rebuild enter uh, here in the brackets you can see uh, the point count control points so start point end point and one middle point and the degree of the curve so we will left the degree as uh, two value and I'm uh, with two and control points we will increase from three to four for example and pressing ok and now we achieve two control points and we can it is not arc now it is the spline because we can make it uh, the curvo curviosity of this spline in any direction so i can make something like this with this control points now i need to be uh, tangential to horizontal and I need uh, to correct the shape to be on the line of the drawing side view. And I got something like this. But I think in our case it will be a nice, the simple arc. This point, this point, this, and correct with this control point. Okay, and now just trim. Select one arc, the other arc, and trim all unnecessary lines. So if you will hide the pictures, oops, sorry, 
Can you hear me? No. <clears throat> Okay, I will finish offline and you will watch the videos, the last minutes of the videos, uh, of the video of this lesson offline. So I will hide the picture and now uh, you can see the contour, the side view of the fuselage uh, that we will use in our work, in our future work to build the fuselage uh, 3D object. I will delete this line at the moment. I don't need it. And also I will join now all this all this line to one contour. So I will use join tool and selecting all the lines, all curves and lines of this contour. Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, it will be enough for this lesson. We will continue next week on Tuesday if everything will be okay. We will continue next week uh, at 2 p.m. I will uh, give you the link to the lesson. So thank you for your attention. Uh, goodbye.